You too. What's good? Welcome to New York Prison Talks, the workout. Now, it's been a really minute. I've been working a lot. I haven't been getting into workouts the way I would like to. Lost a little bit of weight, not too much. Still got my weight up. Still got size. And I will still get busy with anything on weights. Now, I'm about to do show you guys a little workout, what I used to do in the cell. But I got weights added on. A little bit of weights with a little bit of calisthenics. About to do a little bit of push-ups, curls, and a little bit of shoulders. Nothing much, nothing special. Anybody could do this. All you need is a couple light dumbbells. You can do this in your house. Get a, a, a nice little bar, curl bar, 30 pounds, 30 to 50 pounds. You could do this in your house. Now, I did some of this stuff in the yard and some of this stuff in my cell. So let's just see. I'm about to show y'all what to do. The main thing is, the main goal is, the, how I got the pump the way I used to get the pump. Because I used to just chase the pump. I used to just do unlimited sets, back to back, till I couldn't do no more. Just keep going and going and going. Much reps, as much sets, and just keep going. I got my man Lil Wayne. I'm about to get busy, too. I still mess with Lil Wayne. And we about to, about to show you what I, how I used to get busy. Why do you go when it comes to curls? The inner part you work in your bicep. You go wide, that works in the inner part. You go close, that works out the outer part of your bicep. Remember that. Going wide. I'm not weak. Remember that. 
Yeah. Just taking my time. It's been a while. You don't gotta go crazy on push ups either. Never do. We do stand up push ups. I got the perfect push up right here. I was doing inclines. Now I'm just gonna go regular. Chase the pump. Always chase that pump. That's the main thing. Focus on your positives and negatives. Just focus. Nice and slow. Wins everything. You just want to keep the pressure on the muscle you're working out on. After every set, squeeze. When you squeeze, when you squeeze, you're popping out the muscle heads, the muscles you're working out. It's another thing to squeeze. Don't squeeze where you're going to want to kill yourself. And you feel like, I know what I'm doing. People that don't know what they're doing, don't be squeezing too much. Get a nice few seconds. Squeeze for like three to five seconds. Those, build up your delts right here, what I was just doing. Build up your delts, that's what get the nice little crease, right there. What I'm doing with the curls, is building the ball up. That's what gives you the lump, the little lump in your bicep. Nice little lump. Once. That's the key. Just keep going. Because once you stop, you lose the pump fast. And when you lose the pump fast, it's going to be hard to really go and get it the way you want to. Because once you lose the pump, you're a little tired. Then you got to restart. Make sure you're drinking water to keep on with it. And when you're working out, don't drink too much water because you're going to catch cramps and stuff. Take a little sip here and there. When you're done, then you drink all the water you want. But not too much where you're going to feel bloated. Dips. For your triceps. I used to do this in myself. Anybody that's want to be watching, remember, it's not about the reps. It's about when you feel like you're feeling that nice pump, move on to something else. Or keep going with it. Keep squeezing. The dips that I was just doing, working out the bottom part of your tricep. You feel it all right here. You can feel it in your whole tricep if you're just starting and stuff. But people that have been doing it for a while, it's really making working at the bottom part of your tricep right here. I don't got m enough definition anymore as the way I used to. But I, you see how the, the veins is popping out? You want to just keep that pump. Keep that. You want to feel like you're crazy a little bit. Even if you got to feel like that. 
when you go close on the push-ups, that's working out all of this. The closer you go, which is the inner part of your, your chest, inner part of your pecs. You go wide, it works the outer part of your pecs. It's not about the reps. All about the form. It's all about the form. You want to always try to have your head up. You can have your head down, but it's better to have it up a little bit. When it comes to doing diamonds, just try to get that squeeze. Can you switch it up? You can go a little wider. Right back to back. Take a couple seconds rest if you need to. The main thing I said is just chase that pump. This is another workout for the triceps. It's more advanced for people. But this is working out the, the, the bottom part of your triceps too. Over the head. When you do these, make sure you always got your elbows in. Don't have them out like this. The more you have them in, the more you're working them out. Even if you could only get a few, that's good because you're doing something. That's all you want. You want to just keep making sure you're doing something to the point where you're feeling the burn. Once you get that burn and that sweat, a little bit of sweat kicking in. That's how you know you're doing something right. But never go too hard where you're feeling like you're about to hurt yourself or you're strained. Somebody that likes to um want to take supplements, it's nothing wrong with taking supplements. That's a quicker way to want to build up your muscle and probably get to where you want to. Depending on your body type. The main thing is if you're trying to build muscle and if you're trying to gain weight, eat a lot of starchy foods. In jail, I usually eat a lot of soups, a lot of potatoes. You want to keep it healthy, eat, eat, eat sweet potatoes instead of white potatoes. Eat brown rice instead of white rice. Eat wheat bread instead of white bread. That's just the healthier ways, the healthier versions of eating cleaner. Your sugars, 
should be a lot of fruits. That's the only type of sugar you want to eat is fruits. When you're getting your fats, such as healthy fats, you want to eat a lot of like nuts and seeds. Eat 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 a lot of fish. It has fatty fishes. Eat a lot of like, I, I I eat a lot of sardines. I eat a lot of tuna. I eat a lot of mackerel called jack mac. Eat a lot of fish. And I just try to eat as much as I could. Because in prison, I was just trying to get my weight up no matter how. It's hard because if you don't got commissary food or if you somebody that just don't really got it like that at all. Like no money or nothing. And you just got to eat the mess of food. You just got to eat anything you could as much as possible. Eat whatever. Even if you got to eat the mess of food, try to get as much mess of food you could. But like I said, you want to load up on the on the fruits for the sugar, the protein, eat, eat, eat as much seafood. I, li I like to eat seafood. If you want to eat meat, eat, eat chicken. Eat some chicken. You can eat beef too, but eat, eat chicken is better for me. Better, chicken was better for me because it was more easier to get chicken than like beef or something in, inside. Um, and go heavy on the vegetables. Heavy on the vegetables, heavy on the, on the nuts and seeds. Eat, I ate a lot of peanuts. Whatever protein that I could read the label and it said at least 10 grams of protein in it, I was eating that. And drink a lot of water. A lot of water plays into rest with building up your muscle. Because that was that's what keep the pump. I only did a few sets. I'm just showing people an example. But what keeps the pump makes you makes your muscles full is drinking a lot of adequate water. You gotta keep staying hydrated. Because when you just keep staying hydrated, your muscles come out more. It, it sticks with you more. And it looks more fuller and pumped. And you just got to rest. Make sure you get a nice good rest every night. Don't be trying to ignore your body. I learned that when you like when you work out at night, for me, if I would work out at night, it would be hard for me to go to sleep. I'd be tossing and turning. Maybe because my body is too tight or something. And it would just be hard for me to go to sleep. And I wouldn't get as much rest as possible that I wanted to. Wake up the next morning tired. Um, I jump right into the workout. But before you start working out, you're supposed to start stretching. S dynamic stretches. I mean, just stretches to pump up the blood. Don't stretch this way. And hold it and do stuff like that. That's not what you do. You do those type of stretches at the end of a workout. To, to keep your body from tightening up and being sore. That's the main important thing when you're done with your workout is to stretch because when you done once you're done stretching and you don't like to um and once you're done working out and you don't like to stretch then your, your muscles gonna start tightening up and you're gonna be even sore than as if it, as if you was to not stretch I mean than if you were to stretch that's the thing make sure you're always stretching because if you don't stretch you're gonna be sore and your body's just gonna be tight. And that's why you got a lot of dudes that be mad probably. And they can't touch the back. They can't do nothing. They got the white from the front when they taking the shit. Some shit like that. Because they just too tight and stiff. But when you when you start a workout, always pump up like this. Stuff to keep the blood flowing. Even if you got to do some jumping jacks. Some jump jump ropes. Stuff. A little bit of jog. Something to, keep, to warm up the blood and keep that nice pump. Don't start off with a regular stretch like this. Static stretch. That doesn't do nothing. It makes you work. It makes you um have less of a um. You're not gonna be as strong as if you was to pump up the blood. I don't know. The, I, I forget the, the term of it, but when you're working out, just make sure it's it's not about the reps and it's not about how many you get. For me, it was always about just chasing the pump. Just chase the pump as much as you could. Keep going and going and going. I thank y'all everybody for coming watching my live. Please come again. I'm gonna have some real workouts. It was just a little example in here, showing a little something because I can't go to the gym right now. There's too many people in there today. But I'm gonna make some more videos when I'm really in the gym. I need somebody to record me. That's the main thing. Thank y'all for coming to my video. Please like and subscribe.